Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Belveth consistently with her strongest build at the moment. And that is to go for Kraken Slayer first item. It's incredibly inexpensive and does more damage than Bork. It also does way more damage against monsters than Bork because Bork has reduced damage against monsters, a maximum of 60 per on hit effect, such as an auto attack or an ability that applies on hit. Kraken does not. So we're gonna be going Kraken into Bork third item. You wanna go for Jack Show. It's really, really strong right now. And by the time you do get your jack shows when you need it. Third item, you'll be team fighting at that stage. I already told my teammates, just keep washed. We don't need a leash. Belveth solo starts rapidly off of Raptors. We're gonna auto into Q, auto into Q, auto into Q, and you guessed it, auto into Q. We have Conquer with Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Free Boots, Cosmic with attack speed 80 and armor. You can go for Press the Attack, you can go for Conquer or for Lethal Tempo. They're all relatively the same thing they're going to give you a very similar result i think playing with conquer is easiest though because when you have lethal tempo and you get lots of attack speed it's kind of hard to move and attack in between your autos because your autos are happening so fast you kind of just have to not do anything you just click on them and just and that's it <laughs> so and conquer's win rate is extremely consistent so it's overall her most consistent keystone for sure after we kill it, we'll use our potion. Auto into Q. He already got first blood. Wow. We'll just reset then. I told him we were three camping in the top. He's already got the wave push and he's doing just fine. First item back, we'll buy a little piece of Kraken Slayer. Pick up our oracles as well. And Q out of base. And point our W. Our E is a big execute. You want to use your E whenever enemies, monsters, minions, champions are below 20% health, ideally. Your Q and your E both apply on hit effects such as Kraken Slayer or Bork. Auto in the Q, auto in the Q. Smite him down, rip him with E. We should have time to do Gromp. By resetting, you do lose a little bit of time, roughly one monster can't, because normally Belveth can clear around 325-ish. On the bright side, we do get the long sword, so we're more likely to win our fight on Scuttle Crowd. We also get all of our health back, because Belveth doesn't farm the healthiest. You see the least in this top side right now. Pantheon's pushing them off. He hasn't reset yet. Most junglers don't. Most junglers will just start bot side and full clear up. So his Krugs and Raps are going to be up soon. He has 24 CS. Most likely his Krugs are going to be up first. Probably red Krugged. Might be able to go mid here. Jace is pretty low. Uh, he should be free. We'll queue into him. Flash W, Q, E, low Q out. Not bad. I'm missing a lot of health though. Oh, hey, Leeson. Gotta find behind our minions. Auto into W, because he's still CC'd. Oh, he's dead. Get him with the E. He got greedy. He hasn't spent his gold yet. All he had was jungle item. He saw I was kind of low and my mid laner was very low as well. Going to finish pushing that. He has 30 CS, so most likely top scuttle has gone. 24 CS is a full clear. 28 is uh, with scuttle. Every camp's worth 4 CS. I'll go ahead and reset. I want to have a nice full clear to where I can do Gromp up or Krugs up. You do typically want to path towards Herald because Herald increases your gas tank on your Rift Coral to 3 minutes instead of just 60 seconds. So let's say we get a pentakill, we pick up five champions, we eat the Rift Coral. We'll only have 60 seconds of being empowered with extra health, movement speed, attack speed, and attack range, and the Q going over walls. Versus we grab one Herald, now our gas tank is at 180, and then if we're almost out, we kill a couple champions, we get back to 180. So Heralds are super important for Velda. Why, if you fall behind early on, you'll pretty much never get a Herald. I have item advantage, we should be able to fight this. Generally speaking though, Belveth, when she's not empowered through Rift Coral, she doesn't win many 
solo fights. She's more of just a clear champion and a gank champion, not really a soloist who's going to invade the enemy jungler and kill them. They're not forcing this out very hard. Yep, keep doing it. The enemies are playing hyper defensive. I have to keep double Q out to get to this. Auto auto in a W. Auto Q E. I got to Q out. I wouldn't really say that's worth it. <laughs> Ash got lit up so fast. So fast. We could stay for one plate. The enemies were playing ridiculously defensive because they didn't even know I was there. We already broken the the ward the Sona had. Dude, this was warded, but this can't see all the way over there. This gets cut off around there. All right, we'll full clear up towards red buff. It's not good to leave a buff up unattended for a long period of time. Since he's in soft spot side, he may or may not take that now. But even if he does, if I get Gromp, Wolves, Raps, I'll be level 6. Belveth doesn't hit level 6 very fast. It's very common for her currently to hit level 6 around 8 minute mark in the majority of her games. Since we soaked so much minion XP bot lane there, we could probably hit it a little bit sooner. I'll go bot lane here in a second. We see the enemies pushing the wave towards them. Auto in the queue, auto in the queue. Not only is your E damage reduction and an execute, it also heals you. You get 20% life still on that damage. They're playing so far back, it's ridiculous. Do it, Sona. Do, do the thing. Wow, it's not warded. Why are the enemies playing so defensive? It's, in, it's crazy, because it's Sona. Hey, friend. Q into him, get him with a W. We completely whiff. I damage reduction the Leona there. Arguably a waste. That Sona damage is intense. We knock her up, stand there, tank for the Ash since we can no longer chase, pull out. I see how I can't get that Rift Coral. I'll die for it. The turret will keep hitting you. We might be able to push this fast enough to where we can still get it. I think it's about, you have 20 seconds to pick it up. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Not long at all. <laughs> what? Okay. I, I mean, I could have damage reduction. It could have flashed it. Could have possibly queued out of the way. That's rough. We have Kraken Slayer. Wasn't really paying attention to her missile. Also didn't think it'd be able to kill me because she's not fed or anything. Not fed at all. Free boots are in. Pretty early free boots. Usually you'll have it more around the 10 minute mark on this champ. I'm happy to have him though. I have a gold advantage on Lee Sin. I'm not really worried about him being in my jungle. So yeah, he did take my uh, my red scumbag. He has a level advantage on me. He's been farming a lot for a Lee Sin. Q into him. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish him. I should get Harold out of it, though. Team was not really respecting us at all. Get him with the knockup. Q into E. Down he goes. Nice. Now we're coraled up. Extra health, attack speed, attack range, movement speed. And our Qs can go over walls. Much more similar to a Rek'Sai. Plus when we're in this mode, when nearby minions die, we get little Voidlings. Extremely tempo based. This Victor understands how important this is. Still need to pick up the Coral, then we'll pick up the Eye. Now we have the 180 second gas tank that we can constantly refill with uh, any type of Coral champions, dragons, or more heralds or barons. You know, you never want to die like this, because uh, you lose, you lose that sweet, sweet gas tank. The increased container size. Go back to the little mode. 
So although we are looking for ganks, we're not looking for situations that are going to get us killed. Absolutely trying to avoid those situations. Auto in the Q, auto in the Q, auto in the W. All right. Whew, Dragon's a good option. We have item advantage, Ron Riff Coral. Can refill the tank a bit. Let's pull it out first. That's pretty solid. You don't want the enemy to be able to jump over real quick to plant, smite it, and get out. You want them to have to throw away their life if they want to try to coin flip it. Pick up the coral. We refilled a huge chunk of our tank. Invading is very easy and something you're going to be doing more of when you're in this mode. So we can go over walls like a cane or a rex side. Kaisa is a full item. She got my shutdown. I don't know why we're fighting like this. That sucks. I think my teammates thought I was there, but I really wasn't yet. It is what it is. Fill back up the tank with her Rift Coral. It's kind of like their soul. You can only get it out of Champions, Drags, Heralds, and Barons, though. I mean, yeah, my teammates just thought I was there. That's it. That's all. We get a Smite Knock Up and an E. Having that slow from Smite is super valuable for landing Knock Up. Otherwise, they move out of it. And these little guys can tank a one turret shot each, and they all do about the damage of a minion as well. We're damage reduct, but we're dead. We weren't going to live. I wasn't really paying attention to mid, so that's on me. Also, we died with a lot of gold, so that's a double mistake there. Their team is triple physical damage, double magic with the Leona Teemo. And Teemo's going tank. Heart still Teemo. It is viable. It's a real thing. He has a lot of physical damage because the heart still procs physical, so... This is definitely a plated game. I guess Teemo might blind me though. Leona stun. Eh, maybe Merc Treads is better here. I don't know. It's a tough call. We'll wait on base for Bork. Bork's huge. Q applies on hit effects. Or E applies on hit effects several times. You don't really need to be tanky early on Belveth. Since in ganks... Typically, the enemies are trying to get away from you, and they can't turn on you. And Because you, you usually have the numbers in a gank. It's like 2v1 or 3v2. And even if they do turn, and they're kind of fed, you have your E damage. <sighs> Stole my red again. We have our E damage reduction. This guy's farming more than I've seen any least in ever in my life. He's farming so much that he's needing to take my camps to satiate his hunger. Again with our smite. Oops, wasn't trying to do that. Accidentally used my E there. Yeah, using your E early, not only is it going to do basically no damage, but uh, you have to stand still to cast it. So, bit of a ripperoni. I don't want to reset though. Fat fingered it when I went to press W. Down goes Pantheon. I'm kind of low, so this is risky, but I see at least in the bot side. Now he's dead. I can heal back up pretty quick since I have Bork. Teemo's mid now, huh? Look at that sweet, sweet healing. 28% life still, man. Juicy. He's gankable. He does have hard still and blind though. He's about to run into me. The W, auto Q. Stop autoing while we're blinded. Auto Q. We're 
doing oh, so much damage with Kraken. So I did 666, Bork did. Well, this is total. So we've had Kraken for a little bit. All right, we're coraled up. Let's go ahead and heal, then we'll fight for Harold. So we can get back into big mode. Dragons are important, but for Belveth, Heralds are a little more important. Two of them bot side. No one even wants to contest. Teemo died. It doesn't seem like anyone's coming over here. That is okay with me. It'd be nice if it put the Rift Coral from Herald where the eye is so you could get a two for one. It splits them up on you. So wherever it dies, just like how it's what it does with champions. If you're already in your empowered coral mode, a lot of times it's not worth picking up another coral if it's going to get you killed in a fight. If it's under a turret or if it's too risky because that's where all the enemies are standing. It does do AoE true damage, but if they're not super low on health, it doesn't do that much damage because it's missing health damage. We'll go ahead and refill. Pop on over. I am squishy. Kaisa, two full items, man. My goodness. She could chunk me hard with that Hell of Blades build. They lose turret here. Nothing up. We could kill Teemo easily. Max health damage on Bork. We have a bunch of stacking damage on Kraken. His mushrooms aren't doing much damage because of his build. Get our little voidlings in here. Here goes their turret. They're all converging on my teammate. Don't have my E either. He's gonna jump away. They're gonna auto him over the wall. Auto into Q. I'm gonna flash away from that. They're chasing me instead of leasing those bungholes. Uh, that probably wasn't worth it. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> oh, man, that was way too close. They're, they're just as fed as I am, even though I have a bunch of kills and it seems like I'm turbo fed. Two item Jace, two item Kaisa. It hurts. I'm gonna go grab my red. My goodness, we definitely need uh, Jack show right about now. Armor, magic, resist, health. It also sucks away some of their HP. It's pretty, pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. And we can't quite afford it, so I need, I need to farm one more camp. We have double drag advantage. We got double herald. Game started snowballing for us after one or two kills. We we're able to put that into getting objectives. If you're only playing for kills for the sake of getting more kills, you'll lose the game. Because I've already died a couple of times and blood shut down. I made a few mistakes. But even with those mistakes made, we still have the dragon bonus stats to fall back on. Two dragons that they'll never be able to get. Ever. I would like to refill my tank. I'm getting pretty low. Go ahead and reset. Might be able to get something in my extended tank before I die. Let's go ahead and grab control wood. Your Q gets on a way shorter cooldown the per level you get into it. So at this stage, we can spam it to get around the map. Really early on in the game, like when you only have one or two points in your Q, if you're near a camp or a gank, you don't do that because then it'll be on cooldown for the camp or the gank. There's nothing over here. 
There's nothing. I need more coral. They're all fighting elsewhere, though. So I can push this real fast. They don't remove the extra armor magic resist from turret like minions do, though. You still want to have minions when you're pushing with your little void lanes. And we're about to lose our tank. That sucks. Yup. We're back down to 60. We no longer have our 180 second tank to pull from. We'll go ahead and smite him and get him with a W. Q and the E. Dragon coming up in 43. We'll play for that. In the meantime, we'll take as many of his camps as we can while we're empowered. Belveth, when she's empowered, is one of the best champs in the game. When she's not empowered, she's extremely underwhelming. Currently in this meta with how strong she is. Whenever she's hyper meta, it doesn't really matter if she's empowered or not. She'll still overwhelm most champions. But right now, she's definitely... <laughs> Definitely not that great outside of empowered form. Pantheon randomly getting caught out for dragon fight. Jace is still dead, so we might be able to counterplay this. They're not stacked up too tight right now. I just got it right before we ran out of juice. Cracking is how we're going to be able to take this so fast. Every third auto. And we get down our E. And we didn't get it down in time. Feels bad. If we would have gotten down our E, even though that looked really troll, we might have actually been able to win that. Oh, but it didn't turn out that way. Not at all. We didn't get advantage of our 70% damage reduction. They can't cancel it either. They can only cancel the damage aspect of it, but they can't cancel the uh, damage reduction part of it. So even if Leona stuns me, I'll still have the damage reduction. But uh, yeah, our team doesn't have a very strong front line. I'm kind of the front line at the moment. Me and Pantheon. Yeah, Bork's already done more damage against champs. The Kraken does more damage against monsters. It's also cheaper to get it 300 gold sooner. Wow, Pantheon died there. Thank you for the Rift Coral. Appreciate it, buddy. Let's chase these guys down. Got the W, let's get the coral, and continue the chase. Yeah, we want to take him back with us. Probably about trying to R the R team there. Pop him with the E, thank you very much, buddy. That should be Baron. We're actually grouped up there so we can take a fight. One of our teammates was dead, one of theirs was dead. Their red buffs up, I'm gonna head straight over to that. Try to get it before Kaisa gets it. You better if someone else was tanking this. You, whoever's tanking Baron directly does half damage to it. Hey, Leona. I didn't see if this was warded or not. Now it is. I need to get out of here. Oh, get me out. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. Timo's about to blind me. The Teemo blind is the only reason I didn't go and try to finish the Lee Sin. Because 
that blinder, I gotta play things a little slow. Get him with the E. Go inside. Get, get do the damage. Refill the tank. Might still be able to get this turn. Nope. Not quiet. I can smash these mushrooms really quick. Force him to come to me. Oh, hey, Kaisa. Got with the WE. Kind of want to get this. Get some HP for going inside as well. At this point, it's around 400. We're at a lot of attack speed at the moment. 2.9 even without our using an ability for empowered autos. He's blinded. Or I'm blinded. We'll go in once blind wears off. You see how I didn't take that much damage even though I was getting focused by their fed Jace. It's all because of the E damage reduction. And that's game. We're too tanky. Oh no. No, no, no. Yes. All right, we'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. A messy game, but a fun game. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were not the highest in the game, but we were up there for damage taken. We were the most on our team, primary frontliner, also the most self-mitigated on our team and the most in the game. And for runes, solid value. All in all, Belveth, she's not super meta right now. She's just a top 20, top 25 jungler. You can still make her work as long as you're patient, you full clear gank. And you take your time once you have some rift coral super snowbally if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time